Hello, it's Beach Cam's Van and Jack from Van, and we are here for our February update. And well, we've been quite lucky for two years because this is the first time we've done it in the rain, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Last time in the dark, this time in the rain. I know. Well, we've been very fortunate with the weather until now. But anyway, it's looking amazing. So what's well, happening? The weather's just dropped off, I think. I think <laughs> yeah. you must have heard you talking about it. But yeah. um, so we're, we're into the final stages of the surfacing works now. Um, so we're starting from the marine parade side and we've started laying the granite sets. Um, so there's, a, there's areas where there's pink granite and there's areas where there's grey granite. Yeah. So everything that you see coming off the bridge here will be in pink yeah. and then to either side will be grey granite. And then on the underpass section over there, that's done in a, a similar sort of um, paver compared to what was there before. Yeah. So I talked about this in the last video, but all of the levels in here have been improved to allow the water to drain yeah. more effectively from this area. Pre pre previous to this, it, it did used to pond underneath the bridge, so there used to be a bit of a dip in there. But all the, all the new levels basically run all the water back down through. You can start to see the levels now and back through the open side of the channel that you can see on the left-hand side here. Okay. Um, so in total, there's about 140,000 granite sets to lay. Uh, so it's going to keep the process. Yes, yeah, <laughs> like you know, we've been landing units the best part of 14 ton yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. For, for the best part of four years now. And uh, now you're doing these by hand. And now we're doing 100 mil by 100 mil squares and 140,000 of them to lay. So as you can see, there's every man and his dog working on it at the moment. Oh, yeah, all hands on deck, as they say. Yeah, yeah. So where, where the lads have stopped on the right hand side there, that, that's where the grey granite finishes. Yeah. Um, you can see the difference between the grey and the pink granite on the yeah. floor there. Um, and then as you come over this side of the this side of the structure here, you can see the difference in the grey and the pink. So this just needs a bit of a jet wash off and a clean up. So there's an architectural feature on the right hand side, uh, which are the two stairs that you can see up to there. Uh, they just allow people to kind of sit around the edge of the plinth or, or kind of walk up the top of the stairs. Um, and then you've got the ramp, which will go up onto Marine Parade then. So that's for the disabled access. Okay. So for disabled access onto the seawall, you go up the Marine Parade ramp, yeah. And you go around at the top and then you go over the link bridge and then you can carry on down, down the wall then, yeah. Okay. Um, or alternatively, you can just walk up the stairs on the opposite side over there. Yeah, yeah. So the, the fence that you can see on the right hand side here, that, that's still got to have the wire stranding installed. Okay. Um, the guys have installed the base plates and the, the posts, but they can't order the wire strands, same as what they, they did with the link bridge. They can't order the wire strands until everything's been installed so they yeah. can measure the exact wire lengths. Looks really nice. Um, on the this side of the still-in basin then, I suppose on the, on the left-hand side here, the wall's been finished up at the top and the fencing's been closed off. Uh -huh. um, and then all we've got to do now on the right-hand side of here is regulate through and surface. So that area of granite sets that we've just walked over, yeah. they've only been laying that for about two and a half weeks to now. Okay. Um, so, you know, the, the main aim and the main focus is to get all of this area surfaced around this section and get Marine Parade underpass open for public so people can start going back down to Marine okay. Parade. Yeah. So, it, so they don't have to walk all the way down to um, Boat Cove and go over the um, footbridge at the bottom, yeah. yeah. And it will also allow disabled access down onto the seawall and down into Corriton Cove as well. Yeah, of course. In the next 10 days to two weeks, we plan on opening up this underpass section, yeah. whether it's the whole area or whether we just put a, a, a two or three metre access strip through, but the area will be open up in the next within the next two weeks. Which is, which is why you're prioritising this section here, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll work up and over the bridge that we're stood on now. And then the guys have started to install the architectural feature on the right hand side of the basin. So you can see the step units yeah. as we walk around the corner now. I'll have a little look. So you can see the, step, the steps in front of us now. There's some infill concrete to do to the rear and some okay. infill concrete to do to the, the right. And then inside of the, the, the steps that you can see there, there's some, um, there's some benches to build out of the reclaimed material. Okay. Similar, to, seagull, yeah, yeah. similar to what like, we did down at Coast Guard. So yeah. there'll be a, lo a load of different bits of seating around this area. Oh, look, nice. Um, where, where, from where we're stood now, the concrete levels, you can see where the guys have started marking up for the final surface and on the concrete yeah. around here. Um, that, that's for the final concrete and then we, we put the granite sets on top of that so there's still about two or three hundred mil of concrete and yeah. granite to go in this area so we'll, we'll be stood slightly higher than what we are now yeah and then obviously we'll be able to access down onto Coast Guard's side of the breakwater um, via the ramp that goes down onto the beach there yeah. So we'll have a little wonder up top of section B now and I'll, I'll show you uh, the footbridge works. We're back down in a pit, believe it or not. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> building the foundations. Now the piling works have been done. So all of the plant and machinery, um, 
that went off in uh, the, from the 24th to the 26th of January. Yeah. You, you, obviously, your last post really covered the, the removal of the plant. Did a really nice job of that. Yeah. And it was a nice moment to see the back of the, the heavy machinery, Abs really. Absolutely. I actually got a little bit emotional filming that. So people are asking what, what happens with the machinery. So the machinery goes back to Lynch plant. Yeah. It all gets serviced and Lynch plant determine whether the machines, some, sometimes they sell the machines off and they go overseas. Yeah. Sometimes they um, just service the machines and send them out back, back out to the next job on hire. Uh -huh. So section B is a lot cleaner now. Yeah. Um, you can see where we finished the granite sets up here. Um, we just given the guys are just giving it a jet wash through and starting to clean things up now. So we can look and start snagging the top of this section of the seawall with a client. So the client will come out, they'll pick up on any snags, like similar to what you do with a house build really yeah. when you buy a new build. Um, the client will look for any snags, that, that, they'll pick it up with us and then we'll, we'll look to resolve any of the issues if there are any okay. issues. So the guys are just giving everything a good clean off because it's been so congested with materials up here for the last kind of two years or so. The rip, the, the, the gap that you can see here, that's for some benching and some seating. Um, that will be made out of reclaimed wall sections again. Um, similar to what we did down at Coast Guards. And, and some of the sections have been lifted up here. Uh, we just we just need to break these up and rebuild them in position. The as well. Yeah, so the floodgate's been installed. Um, that, that, that's got the kind of the same locking mechanism as the floodgate that we put in down at Coast Guards. Okay. So you can close the, the gap at the bottom of the gate if, if you ever okay. need to. For some serious storms. Yeah. I don't think we'll be seeing many of them in my lifetime. To be honest. Well, hopefully <laughs> no. not anyway. Yeah. Um, you can see on the left hand side um, the guys have started building some of the reclaimed wall sections okay, yeah. that, that, that these will be seating benches yeah. that, i think there's one of those every every sort of granite set bay yeah so they're, they're not finished off yet there's probably about another 300 mil to go on top of there so yeah. the seat the, the seating positions at the right height right um but yeah just uh, you can see where we're where we're giving everything where a good clean through the gray like i've mentioned in the past the the gray granites where where i'm stood here now they they symbolize where the arches used to be in the station building right. and then when you go down onto the beach you can see the facing panels yeah. where the arches are imprinted in the facing panels yeah, then Looks great. and it seems so spacious up here obviously we've walked along here for a couple of years but like you say there's been so much plant and materials, materials yeah. up here yeah. and it's it's um yeah very spacious indeed there's, there's absolutely rakes of space to be honest we'll go back to the top of the stairs and you can have a little look over the over the top now the plant's gone oh, yeah. and you really get an idea of the two the two communal areas that we're, we're trying to create down here so part of the like as, as we've been building this job for two years and on my desk I've had a drawing of what this looks like in a 3d architectural model yeah. and I've just been pretty much yeah and now you can see it coming to life visualizing and dreaming out how how we actually build it so it's, yeah it's nice to see it at this final stage really and you can you can see, see those over there. sets yeah. look amazing from here really good we'll have a little walk over the uh, link bridge and then you can have a bit of a view from up top so we're just going to clean up all this area and get rid of all the, the kind of lo loose little bits of concrete where the guys have been walking around yeah. the boots and all, all different materials. The precast needs a good clean. Yeah. And the only thing left to do on the link bridge is the drainage, drainage channel yeah. now. Um, so we're, we're looking at different uh, products that we can put into there and, and the best method of forming that. So we managed to get all the eel ramp in before the plant went, which was a... Which was a big yeah, it was re in, relief for us. Yeah. Impressively large. Yeah, <laughs> it looks amazing. Yeah, it, that the, on the videos you could only see the top see unit. The top it, yeah. yeah, there's another unit the same size beneath that as right. well. So it does go right down into yeah. the ground for when when the sand does wash away. Because yeah. depending on the storms that you get here, you can see now it washes the material back up. When you have a when you have a big downpour of rain, then it cleans the channel back, back out. out again. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a self-cleansing channel. And it, we've had we've had loads of instances where we've had build up in there, and then you come back the day after, and all the gone. material's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So up the top now, um, you can see where the guys have finished this section with the granite sets. Just needs a bit of a, a jet wash up and a clean up in there, where we've been putting the grout in, in between each of the joints. Yeah. So they lay them on a, a sand and uh, cement um, kind of mix, and then they grout and seal the top of the unit. Uh -huh. And then you can see up the top where, you, where we go around the ramp now, where the guys are tying into the marine parade interface. So prior to us starting the ramp and uh, in between finishing marine parade all of that was all of that we put concrete over the top of the stairs so it was concrete but part of the planning conditions of that this area is is granite yeah. 
there's a small dwarf wall, like a, a very small upstand of a wall to build between the stainless steel fencing on the right hand side yeah. there and the upstand that you can see at the top of the, the stairs. Okay. So there's, there'll be about a 300 mil concrete upstand door. We're going to try and use existing wall yeah. uh, to rebuild that section through there. That's just to stop people kind of falling down onto the breakwater because there'll be a bit of a difference in level between the two. Yeah. And then, like I mentioned earlier, people can walk up the stairs, walk onto the uh, up and over the breakwater, and, and, and so forth. Marine Pride interface has been finished yeah. since the last video. Um, I think I think we were about six of the surface in bays through That's out right. of the nine that were here. Uh, the fencing's been installed and finished up. You couldn't really see that in the dark the last time, no. but you, you start to get an idea now on, on how you can kind of access and egress yeah. around the area. Very impressive. That's all filled in. Uh, so we'll go down to the footbridge now. Yeah. Um, and we can have a look at what we've been doing down there since the last visit. During the last visit, we came out at the end of us installing the seventh out uh, the eighth pile on the seaward side, I believe it was. We had one weekend left where we where we needed to install one more pile. Yeah. And then we were going to be removing the plant and the equipment with the crane. So all of the piling kit has now been removed from the project. Um, we we have been impacted by ground conditions and in, 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 uh, on the actual footbridge itself, um, but just unforeseen ground really where, where we were piling through. Yeah. Um, that was on, predominantly on the landward side piles. Yeah, we've never okay. really done any constru any construction activities over there, really. And the GI that we had didn't really match the ground conditions that we encountered. Right. Okay. So, over this weekend, we are planning on bringing uh, a team in on Saturday night to get the whole of this area cleaned up. Now the piling kit, all the piling kit's gone so we can start to lay the reinforcement. Yeah. Before we lay the reinforcement, we need to make sure the area is cleaned of kind of any debris, sand, any loose materials. So we started to bring the reinforcement in, which is all the reinforcement on the left-hand side here. Yeah. That's for building the pile caps. Hi, mate. How are you doing your own? How are you doing? So we started bringing the reinforcement in to start constructing the pile caps. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll explain a little bit further on that. And then the plan is this weekend to get this whole area cleaned, everything jet washed off and all the, the sand kind of moved out of this area. Okay. So we're just working in a nice clean environment now that all the piling works are completed. Piling works are just extremely messy just because you're bringing up a large quantity of earth from the ground. And yeah. A lot, often or not, you, you, you enter into the water table so it ends up becoming more of a slurry really. Yeah, than, yeah, of course. Than a, um, than a dry material. So you can see the piles now where we've pre when we came here the last time the piles were back up at piling platform level so the piles have now been cut back down to the designed level and at the moment there's a welding tent set up over there where we've got a welder working inside and what he's doing is welding the, the, the three rings onto each pile that you can see yeah. so around the perimeter of each uh, the, the perimeter of each pile we have to weld three rings on and that's what kind of connects the pile into the pile cap. Right, I'll put you up. Okay. And then you can you can see on the back pile over there where the where the, where the green can's on. Yeah. Where the opposite uh, where, where we've had the black sleeve in the ground and that's where we've installed okay. our steel casing through the uh, sacrificial casing that we cast into the concrete as we were bringing it back up to level. Yeah. yeah. So over the next three, four weeks we start to install the reinforcement on here once we've cleaned up the area. The shuttering work goes in and then we build the pile cap which supports the lift tower on this side. Okay. After that then we move on to a big structural slab which is basically installed where the machine is sat over there. Okay. So there's a big steelwork slab which combines the recurve unit to the shield wall of the footbridge yeah. and the shield wall is basically a, a big wall which protects the staircase okay. um, in the event of a, a, a severe storm, a 1 in 100 year storm event. So it's coming on. Yeah. It's, um, the, the, the plans. Um, the plan is then to also, at the, at the same time as what we're building the pile caps over here, is to dig out on the opposite side, uh -huh. and start constructing the pile cap over there, so we can install the lift tower on that side yeah. as well. Um, the, the actual precast units are being fabricated over in Ireland at the moment. Okay. The first lift shaft tower section is being cast. I think it's tomorrow actually. Oh well. Uh, and the shield wall units were already about five or so into I think there's 20 in total on there so are they going to come by L'Oreal then and yeah yeah so they'll they'll go back up to um Timothrow compound yeah. and then 
we haven't got any machines up at Timmouth Road anymore. That no. we, we previously did have the 70 ton excavator, but the 70 ton excavator can't actually lift these units, so okay. they'll be delivered straight on the lorry. In, they'll be put on left on the lorry in Timmouth Road and brought straight down to the site and installed with the larger crane. So we need a, we need a 650 ton crane to install okay. those. And that'll be done in the possession when it went in. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so, um, so like from from March onwards, basically okay. we, we we start that. So yeah, a lot a lot really been done in the in the pit really. I mean, it's all work that people will never see again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone only sees the lift tower which goes yeah, on top no, of yeah. it, but this has caused uh, sorry, it's, it caused a headache really on how you construct this because of yeah. having to get those machines over to this side yeah. of the job with a 200 ton crane, lifting machines with the crane. It's just uh, yeah, I, 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 an engineering challenge. I'm sure, yeah, and you've still got your hair, mate. I oh, know. <laughs> And, and the, the sort of size, the, the rig size that we selected for this size of the job, you couldn't put a bigger rig over here. It only just fit in between yeah. the gap between the recurves when it was on a pile position in the piles. So it was. Uh, right, say like working on a postage stamp. This, <laughs> this was better than a postage stamp, I think. <laughs> That's it really for um, for today's tour. Yeah, thank you. It looks um, impressive again. I'm loving those granite sets now that are all in. You, you, yeah, it changes the aesthetics really. It yeah. just, just looking at concrete really. And the stainless steel finishes it off nicely. Um, so we've yeah. been working with a, a local supplier called Stoneman Engineering on, on the, the fencing. Yeah. And they're also doing the um, parapet package for us and the footbridge as well. Oh, brilliant. Um, the stone, the, all, all of the granite sets, we've been using a company called Riviera Stone Masons and, and also our, our, our own lads have been laying them just because of the volume and the quantity that we've yeah, yeah. So you can see when we went down to the job earlier that how many people were, how many different people were laying granite through there. Uh -huh. Right Jack, well thanks again for another brilliant tour. It's, um, it's really good to see it coming to a close and again, I just, I still can't get over how much work you do in between every time I come and visit. Yeah, I oh know. Um, like, like I mentioned last time, the, the um, granite sets are a weather dependent activity. Yeah, so yeah. when it does start to have a heavy downpour, um, the, the, the lads can't really lay anything no. just, just because of what they are laid on and it'll just turn to a big mush. Absolutely. Really. Yeah. And if, again, if you've got any uh, questions for Jack, just leave them in the comments. Uh, give this video a like and a share and subscribe to our channel as well.